Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, today's video we're going to be oops, I guess we're going to be predicting week 13 of this year's NFL. So let's start it. So we got the Seahawks and we got the Cowboys. Geno Smith versus Dak Prescott. Thursday night football on Prime Video. I'm going to throw it out there, guys. It's going to come down to a one point game, to be honest. Look at the record 7 and 4, 8 and 3. And uh, it's going to be neck and neck. It's going to be going back and forth all through the night game. But for this one, guys, look at this. I got this one going one way mostly. So for this one, guys, I got the Seahawks 17. And I got the Dallas Cowboys 24. So the so the Dallas Cowboys get a ninth straight victory. But the Seahawks are going to drop to their fifth straight loss. Hopefully they can have a hunt in the wild card spot. But for right now, the the Cowboys are going to stay in that fifth place spot and uh, hopefully get more wins and hopefully have a ride the Super Bowl. Next, we got the Colts and we got the Titans. Fortunately, guys, we got the Titans going on the edge right now. If the Colts win today's, if the Colts win this game, they will knock Titans out of the playoffs. And let's see if that will happen. Well, let's see. Well, we got the Colts and we got the Titans at Tennessee Titans. And uh, for this one, guys, uh, 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 it's gonna come down to the nail biter finish. I mean, Tennessee Titans know 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 the deal. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna give it everything they got. So for this one, guys, uh, it's gonna come down to the wire because Titans are not gonna go out. They're not gonna go down without a fight. But you guys, I said before, if they lose, they're out of the playoffs. And guys, I'm gonna throw it out there, they are gonna lose. It's gonna be twenty eight. It's gonna be twenty eight to twenty four. Colts getting that fifth straight win that they need, still staying at home for the playoffs. Unfortunately for the Titans, they dropped to two and nine. Unfortunately, that will knock them out of the playoffs. All right, guys. Next, we got the Falcons and we got the Jets. Fortunately, guys, look at the Jets three and eight. Look at the Falcons seven and four. That's not that's not that bad. That's not that bad. I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. It's not really that bad. But we obviously know, guys, a win. A win right here for the Falcons. Can knock the Jets right out of the playoffs. And they did say Aaron Rodgers will be back in December. But I don't, I think it'll be too late. I think it'll be too late for Aaron Rodgers to come back. So I would, I would suggest for Aaron Rodgers sit out for the rest of the season. It, it should have been. It should have been. It wasn't a good season for him. But he'll be back next year. And I think the Jets will make a run for the playoffs next year. Uh, but of course, you guys, Tim Boyle has been the starting quarterback, and uh, yeah. So, to be honest, guys, uh, to be honest, guys, it's gonna be, it's gonna be all, it's gonna be all Falcons after that. So it's gonna be twenty-one. Uh, it's gonna be twenty. It's gonna be twenty-one seventeen. The Falcons getting their eighth win in the NFC South, taking that fourth spot in the division. Has, hopefully have a shot at the title. But for this one, guys, I got the Falcons 21. I got the Jets 17. Because with Tim Boyd being the third quarterback, I think I think he'll probably win four to five games. But, um, yeah, like I said, without Aaron Rodgers, uh, it's terrible. So that's why I got the Jets not making the playoffs this season. And for the Falcons, I think they'll have a good chance of making the playoffs this season. All right, guys, next, we got the Panthers and we got the Buccaneers. Fortunately, guys, Baker Mayfield versus Bryce Young. Fortunately, guys, look at Bryce Young. The number overall pick is 1 in 10. A very big mistake. Fortunately, guys, they cannot make the playoffs, but let's just, let's just, let's just, uh, let's just say that, let's just say that, let's see if he has a good pause at, at the end of the season. But right now, look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're 2 and 9. They're fortunately not going to make the playoffs either. So I'm going to protect both of them, trying to make the playoffs. I mean, not to make the playoffs, but. I'm going to hopefully try to make both of them, try to have a good season. But for this one, guys, uh, look at them. They both, they're one and two. Look at them. Look at them. They're both they're sloppy. But for this one, guys, uh, I'm going to throw it out there, guys. It's going to come down to the wire. It's going to be 20. It's going to be 20 to 14. It's going to be 20 to 14. Tampa Bay Buccaneers getting getting their third win. And as for the Panthers, they're just going to drop their 11th straight loss. And hopefully, they'll have a better season next season. Next. So, we got a good game. We got the Lions. We got the Saints. Unfortunately, guys, an NFC showdown. Uh, Lions are at no. Uh, Lions are at the Saints Stadium, and the last time they were at there, when Drew Brees was at the quarterback. But right now, it's going to be Jared Goff versus Derek Carr on Sunday matchup, 
And for this one, guys, uh, 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 it's going to come down to the wire, wire, wire. And, uh, for this one, guys, um, I don't think it's going to come down to the wire. But, um, uh, it's going to be close. But for this one, guys, uh, since the Lions lost on Thanksgiving, I got to give them some credit. They're going to bounce back. They're going to bounce back and get that win, 38-31. to They're going to get their ninth straight win. As for the Saints, they're going to drop their second straight loss and, Hopefully, have a good season at the res, and hopefully they're gonna have a better season. Hopefully, have a chance to get in the playoff spot. All right, guys. Next, we got the Chargers. And we got the Patriots. Fortunately, guys, the Patriots are knocked out of the playoffs. The Chargers are they're they're nine and two right now, trying to get trying to get back in the playoffs. They're right now they're in the hunt. They're four and seven, but we'll find out if they can have a let's find out if they can have a great comeback. And it's going to come soon. Guys, I'm going to throw it out there. It's going to come here, here. The Patriots. It, Mac Jones, he's been playing his sloppy football ever. I mean, he threw so many interceptions. He can't. He's off. He's been off his game this year. And that's why the Patriots are 1 in 10. And unfortunately, guys, for the for the Chargers, this is the perfect opportunity to get, to get back in the win column. And that's what's going to happen. It's going to be 31. It's going to, no, no. It's going to be 31 to 10. 31 to 10 Chargers getting back in the win column. 5 and 7. AK mine 10 and 2. And hopefully, guys, they can still have a hunt, have a chance to get in the playoffs. So this is their perfect opportunity to get in the playoffs. Next, we got the Car Cardinals, we got the Steelers. Fortunately, guys, the Steelers are already in the wild card spot, but they want to keep that wild card spot up and up for grabs and hopefully getting a division. So, fortunately, guys, they're going to be versing the Cardinals. Fortunately, guys, the Cardinals, they are not been playing that bad of a football. They have not been playing that bad of football. But you obviously do know they're 1-11. They're, they're kind of a little sloppy. They can't finish. They can't finish the deal. And for this one, guys, the Cardinals, there's with Kyle Murray, Kyle Murray's not going to make it easy on them. So, for this one, guys, uh-uh-uh. It's gonna be hard for Pittsburgh because Cardinals are not gonna give the Steelers the win. He's, they're gonna, the Cardinals are gonna to say to them they're gonna to have to earn that win. Unfortunately, guys, it's gonna be a close game. But for this one, guys, I got the Cardinals twenty-four. It's gonna be twenty-four. And you guys know what you're thinking. That's not how many points they should have. But for me, I think they should have that many points. It's gonna be twenty-four to twenty-eight Steelers because it just said. The Cardinals. They're not gonna. They're not gonna let. They're not gonna let the Cardinals. They're not gonna let the Pittsburgh Steelers get an easy win. They're gonna have to earn it. So that's why the Cardinals are gonna. That's why the Cardinals are gonna give it a good battle. But I have the Steelers winning 28-24, advancing to nine and three, and hopefully have a chance to get into the division. To hopefully get that top seed. Next, we got the Dolphins and we got the Commanders. Another good game. Tuga Viola, Sam, Sam, Sam. Uh, it's gonna be a good game for both. Both the both of these teams. I mean, I mean, Dolphins won on Black Friday, but fortunately for the Commanders, they already lost on Thanksgiving against the Cowboys. Fortunately, guys, look at the record; they're pretty good. But guess what? I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. It's gonna be it's gonna be really simple for me. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but um, for Tucker Viola, Tyreek Hill, they're gonna get they're gonna do really well. And f for this one, guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. It's gonna be a good game for both of them. So for this one, guys, it's going to be a good game for both teams. Both of them desperate need of a win. And for this one, guys, I'm going to – you guys know who I'm going with. I'm going with Tyreek Hill and Tagovailoa. The Dolphins are going to win 31-21 against the Commanders. I think the Dolphins are going to be a little too much for the Commanders. That's why they're going to lose by 10 points. And hopefully, hopefully for the Commanders, they're just going to have to hope for the best and hopefully get in the wild card spot. All right, guys, next we got the Broncos, we got Texans. Fortunately, guys, two of these teams, Broncos have won the past five straight in a row. The Texans just lost, but they're still in the hunt. They're still in the eighth seed to get, hopefully, they get in the playoffs. Both these teams, desperate need of a win to get in the playoff spot because I told you guys, the AFC, the AFC playoff picture is nuts. And hopefully, we'll find out, we'll find out who comes out on top. We'll find out who gets. We'll find out who gets in the playoffs. But the Broncos, they won five in a row. But Russell Wilson versus C.J. Stroud, it's gonna be a very, very good game. It's gonna be a really, really good game. So for this one, guys, uh, 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 it's gonna come down to the wire, to the wire, to the wire. Um, yeah, yeah. But so for this one, guys, it's gonna come down to the freaking wire, like I just said. And for this one, guys, uh, I am gonna take this team. You guys, look at this. For my prediction, the Texans are already out, but the Broncos need to get this win to stay alive in the playoffs. And guess what? They're going to do that right here. 
It's going to be 31 to 28. Nope, not 29. It's going to be 31 to 28 Broncos getting that win that they need and hopefully have a chance to get in the playoffs. But sadly for the Texans, for the second straight game in a row, they're going to lose by three points and hopefully get back on track in next week's game. Next game, we got another good game. The 49ers and the Eagles. Two undefeated teams that I just predicted. And I'm going to throw out there, guys. Hold on, I need to move this just a little bit. Or oh, whatever. Look at this, guys. Two undefeated teams. But one of them's got to get their first death. And unfortunately, guys, it's going to be a very, very good game. It's going to be a good game that no one else wants. No one else thought it would be. But for this one, guys, Jalen Hurts, Jalen Hurts, and Josh Allen. You guys saw that game. Jalen Hurts was flying out. So, in, in overtime, Jalen Hurts took it with his legs, ran it into the end zone, and it's going to be a good it, it, it was amazing. So, for this one, guys, Brock Brady's not going to get, Brock Brady's not going to take this one lying down. But for this one, guys, look at this one. This is how I got it 31 34. 31-34, Eagles staying undefeated. The 49ers lost their first game, and hopefully they're still in second place, but the Eagles are going to stay number one with Jason Kelsey. Debo Samuel is going to talk a lot of garbage like he always does. But for this one, guys, I got the Eagles 34, and I got the 49ers 31. The Eagles are going to stay undefeated, heading to 12-0, and uh, hopefully have a good chance at winning the Super Bowl this year. Next, we got the Browns and we got the Rams. Fortunately, guys, look at the, look at this. Two and nine versus five and six. Fortunately, guys, the Browns are already in the playoffs, in the wild card spot. The Rams, they're just trying to stay in the hunt for the playoffs. And fortunately, guys, look at this. Two of two of the good teams ever. And fortunately, guys, I hate Stafford. I really hope he doesn't make the playoffs. But if he does, it'll be amazing. So hopefully, we can verse him and kick his butt. But um, you guys know I hate Stafford and Cooper Cup and Aaron Donald. I like all of them. But um, for for this one, guys, uh, I'm gonna throw it out there. I will be a Rams fan for this one. Uh, I feel like they're gonna win this game. It's gonna be this game. It's gonna be 17 to 24 again, like I did in my last one. Maybe it was my last video. Maybe this one. But for this one, guys, I got the Browns 17. I got the Rams 24. The Rams getting back to 500, and for the Browns, they're just gonna drop to two and ten or whatever their record is in the wild card spot. But they're gonna drop to this one against the Rams because. For the Browns, with with Stafford, Cup, and Donald, that will be way too much for them to accomplish. So for this one, guys, I got the Rams winning this one 17-24 and getting back in the 500 column. All right, guys, next, we got the Chiefs and we got the Packers. Folks, we got with Jordan Love and Patrick Mahomes. It's going to be a good game. But uh, with Patrick Mahomes and Jordan Love, Jordan Love making his first rookie season. Well, not really rookie season. First starter at the Packers uh, QB. Um, he's not really, he's not, he's, he doesn't really have that much experience, I don't feel like. Patrick Mahomes, he's got a lot of experience. So for this one, guys, uh, I mean, Packers, they're not gonna, they're not gonna take it lying down. They're not gonna, they're not gonna take this one easy. They're not gonna give this one easy to Patrick Mahomes. But, um, actually, so for this one, guys, I got this one going 38, 38 to 27. It's gonna be... 38 to 27. Patrick Mahomes getting the win, and uh, for Jordan Love and the Packers, they made a good fight, but uh, but I just don't see it. I just not see the. I just not see Jordan Love not. I just don't see Jordan Love winning this game against Patrick Mahomes. And finally, guys, we got the Monday Night Football game. We got Cincinnati versus Jacksonville. So for what, for what you guys just said, Joe Burrow's out for the rest of the season. So basically, all Trevor Lawrence's idea. He he's gonna he is just gonna push it. He's just gonna take it all the way. So uh, uh for this one, guys, I have no words to explain right now. It's gonna be this. It's gonna be seventeen. It's gonna be seventeen to thirty-four. Jacksonville getting their seventh win that they need. As the Bengals are gonna to drop to their fourth straight loss, and uh, hopefully they can hopefully have a chance again in the playoffs without Joe Burrow this season. And uh, that'll be it, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if I did a pretty good prediction. Uh, let me know if I did terrible. Let me know if I did good. Um, yeah, guys. But uh, that's all I have to say for you guys. So I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I'll see you guys next Instagram, no, Instagram or YouTube video or YouTube short. I love you all from the bottom of my heart, as always. Peace!